Hello all you shining stars and welcome to my channel Shining Star Soup. It's time for another story time Sunday and I got a Jose on my lap. I decided to bring back my uh, old background at least for um, maybe, I don't know, maybe ever. And um, the hence the blue blanket. This was the blanket that um, Diane made for me and <laughs> sent me and um, I, I just wanted some contrast against my black shirt and and uh, Jose's making it very difficult for me to do that okay so this is what you're gonna get just so I don't look like a floating head but now I kind of still do look like a floating head uh, anyway um, this story time Sunday <laughs> and I've been doing them a lot I think uh, we're in mid-September or the end of September and um, this story time comes with a bit of a disclaimer. I am not a religious person. I'm not the kind of person that goes to church every Sunday or thinks that things that are bad that happen are because of the devil or um, things that are good. Oh, it must be a miracle from God. I respect people's opinions and religions and you know I have a friend in the states who's very religious and is always saying bless and and I really adore her but personally I've never been overly overly religious uh, I'm not atheist I believe in like a higher existence I believe everything happens for a reason um, I don't believe in fate but I believe in destiny and to me the difference is that with destiny, um, it's it's less about what the what the fate is and more about the, the the path that you take to get there. So yeah, that's where I sit with religion. However, this story time is about a few years ago when I was in foster care and I was um, with a foster family who. Their daughter, and she might even watch my channel, um, just for privacy reasons, I won't mention her name. I will call her Lily. <laughs> Lily, um, she was really into youth group, and we would go every Friday or Saturday, Friday night I think it was, we would catch the bus outside the home, and We'd go to uh, a church, and it was a really fun time. It was a nice way to get to know people. Um, they were very welcoming. They were very warm. They they made me feel, they made me a better person, I guess you could say. And like I really liked this um, this youth group that we would go to every Friday. And there was one time where they were doing a ski trip, and a whole bunch of us. I think we went to Kelowna or Kamloops. I don't remember exactly where it was. But we uh, we were staying in like one home or like we were split into a couple groups, I believe. And there were like people who were, who would open their homes for us to stay while we were on a ski trip. And then afterwards we would, uh, Again, there was like a, a church or something in Kelowna or Kamloops where we all would get gathered together in the church and a whole bunch of youth groups and and sing, you know, sing gospel and just um, they had their own band and like that's what we did. And I remember the first the first day that I went on the ski trip, I had no problem. Like I was just going down the slopes and on the chairlift and and it was great, you know, it was a great first day. But the second day, and I don't remember exactly what it was, but something shook my confidence on the hill. And like I was at a point in my life where I was, you know, religious and um, I believed that for a moment that the devil was... Um, I guess kind of testing my faith and giving me doubt and so I kind of the second the second ski trip I was or the second day at the hill I uh, I kind of froze up and 
you know, I went on the chairlift and I just got to the top of the hill where, you know, the day before I was, you know, no problem, just, just went for it. But that second day, it was so strange. I just, um, I had like an anxiety, you know, thing going on and I eventually, um, I eventually made it down the hill. I had some co coaxing. I had one of the uh, youth group leaders with me that said, come on, you know, you can do this. It's fine. You did it yesterday. Let's go. And it took me about an hour to get down the hill, but I did. And that night, I'll never forget that night, we, we got together at the church and everybody was singing and I was just, I was in a weird headspace and there was this one song and I don't remember what the song was, but I know that I was sticking close to the group leader and um, very lovely, lovely people. And there was this song that came in that was just like, um, where the chorus was in Break These Chains. And, you know, I was singing, not really thinking anything of it, just getting into the moment. And one of the, like the main group leader came and started praying, just, just randomly praying praying right behind me and you know like singing and praying but just right behind me as if they were helping me and wow I didn't actually expect to cry um there was a release like just and I felt it and it was like and it was Oh, wow. It was so powerful. And it just felt like everything I had been holding on to and everything that I felt was like a weight on my shoulders, every everything that I had been through, it just felt like there was forgiveness there and a voice behind me and just all around me in a warmth saying that it was going to be okay and um and to this day you know <laughs> as you can tell i i think back on that moment the moment that everybody was singing the moment that I had the the group leader who I don't remember who they were, um, you know, singing over over me and the song "Break These Chains" and you know every all those chains around my heart that that have been dragging me down um, was just let go, and it was a very powerful experience uh, for me, and it didn't like it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like, um, oh, now I'm going to go to church every Sunday. Now I'm going to call myself Catholic or Christian. I'm going to read the Bible every day. It wasn't like that, but it didn't need to be. It was just, it was significant. And it was a, a reminder that, you know, you to be strong and to know, at least for me, that everything happens for a reason and, um, it's just something, an event that happened that you, at the moment, you're like, why is this happening to me? I'm not going to get through this. You know, this isn't fair. And it's like, no, it's not fair. But God wouldn't give you anything you couldn't handle. And I may not be that religious, but I still, I still hold on to that. And that belief that, you know, you take a breath, you... You wake up in the morning, you do what you got to do, and you, you just keep on, you keep on living because life is so short and the people that you meet, uh, rather they turn out to be dicks <laughs> or assholes. Um, and they're, it, yeah, it, 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 it's happening for a reason. So that was um, my, my emotional story time Sunday. See, you see all black, see how I kind of float. <laughs> you know <laughs> anyway i am um, i'm i hope all you shining stars have a shining star day a shining star week thank you for tuning into my story times thank you for all your support and your love and your comments and have a shining star day and keep being shining stars <laughs>